Welcome to HTV News. I'm Holly Carter. This semester, Henderson welcomed its largest freshman class in school history. So is it time for more students already? Not quite, but soon high school seniors will be on campus to see if Henderson is the place for them. Henderson's annual Ready for Henderson Day will be held on November 1st this year. High school seniors will be given the opportunity to see what being a Henderson Ready is all about. These students will tour the campus, mingle with current students, and receive all of the information about housing, financial aid, and admissions. Following a lunch break, these students can tour the rec center, athletic facilities, and residence halls. This will give the students a perfect opportunity to see what Henderson is all about. Another great opportunity for the community to experience Henderson is through the Family Science Night right here on campus. Henderson Science Departments are hosting their second annual Family Science Night, which includes demonstrations, skits, and activities for children. All the scientific fun will take place on October 27th at 5 o'clock in the Reynolds Science Center. Admission is free of charge and everyone in the community is invited to attend. Right after the break, our political reporter Brooke Herod brings us the chaos from Capitol Hill. Stay tuned. The Henderson Hooligans is the new student section at Henderson State, and we want you to be the charter members of it. It doesn't cost anything to sign up, and it all starts with you guys in the stands right now. This is the beginning of something that will revolutionize the game day experience at Henderson State. We polled students, and the one thing that they said that they did not have here was a place to belong at athletic events. Now you have that. This is about excitement. It's about having a passion for your sports teams. We cannot do this without you. Hooligan Nation, raise up. Welcome back to HTV News. President Barack Obama's jobs bill has been put to a halt. The $447 billion jobs bill was shut down in the Senate last Tuesday. This forces the White House and Congressional Democrats to attempt to salvage bits and pieces of the bill. The President criticized Republicans for balking at a measure that included things that they once supported. The bill is a mix of public works spending and temporary tax cuts intended to respond to the economic crisis. Occupy Wall Street has been a topic on the minds of many. Over 3,000 workers and concerned citizens have occupied Wall Street over the past month. But what does this mean? I spoke with students to see what they think and how they feel it will affect the future. Being of it, I do feel like something will happen. Uh, what's going on on Wall Street and I hear now that they're here in Arkansas now uh, protesting and the reason I feel like something will happen um, all these big uh, investors are you know got all this money and are willing to share with anybody or you know willing to stimulate the economy so I feel like going back to like when Vietnam and all the other kind of things like wars people protest people started listening to more people when they you know were out there um, given what they feel or telling people how they feel so I feel like something will come maybe not what we want like right now but something will happen in the future the protest on Wall Street I don't think much will come of it I don't I think protesting is stupid and I don't understand why people do it the protesters are acting with help from the hacker group anonymous this group has also aided with other protests around the country and around the world while this has been going on, Henderson has had its own situations to deal with. That's right, Brooke. Campus police are saying that a man has been exposing himself in the Huey Library. He approaches students and asks to borrow pen or paper and then reveals himself. The man has been described as a tall, white, older male and has been seen wearing a red cap, black shorts, and possibly a white shirt. If you have any information, contact campus police. Right after the break, I've got your ready football update. Stay tuned.
will grow up someday. You will get a job. You will be working. What do you want to be when you grow up? Welcome back to HTV News. The Reddy football team managed to get their second straight victory this past weekend. The Reddies traveled to southeastern Oklahoma to take on the Savage Storm and brought home the win 30 to 14. But injuries seem to be plaguing the Reddies. Quarterback Kevin Rogers and linebacker Taylor Stone both received concussions in Saturday's game. Junior quarterback Nathan Nall took over for Rogers, a role he had at the start of the season. Running back Jarvis Smith and Israel Valentine rushed for over 100 yards apiece, a feat that has not been accomplished by the Reddies since 2004. The Reddies play at home again on November 5th against McKendree. That's a wrap for today. Be sure to tune in next week. You can give us your feedback on our Facebook and Twitter pages. I'm Holly Carter.